welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys enjoy your weekend mine uh, it's not like I have a lot of I had a lot of stuff to do yesterday well yesterday it was Saturday but today I'm kind of really relaxed and I'm like oh I was checking my channel and I realized that my last my last video in English was probably in December or November something like that and when I check on my um, on my library, my personal library, I found out there's a book that I buy, I buy um, last January, and I was supposed to read it for the Black History Month, but I, I did read it for the Black History Month, but I forgot to introduce it, <laughs> because I was too busy doing stuff, I had a lot of activities and stuff like that for the Black History Month, so I was quite a bit, you know, I was busy, and today, I am gonna finally talk about this book which is this book here uh, 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 uh. yeah actually it's a poetry book and the name is the Vodou it's Vodou Hypothesis you know when I first saw that book I'm like ooh Vodou it's something it's supposed to be deep and I was right it's really a deep poetry book about it's fiction poetry that was my first time reading fiction poetry and um, some of them are really long, some of them are really short. If it's really different than um, the new type of poetry that we have in the market right now. And the name of the order, sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> the name of the order is Canicia Lubrin. I know I speak French, and when I have to say name in French, you can basically see that, you know, I that girl. Her first language was not English, it's French. My first language is French, so most of the time when I, when I have to name the, the author, I name it with my French accent, and I think it's cool, and I think her name is really French too. And she's from St. Vincent, so I'm like, okay, well, yeah. Canicia Lubrin, and the name is Vodou Hypothesis. And when I buy this book, I saw, I don't know, I was watching something online, and I think she's one of the top 10 Canadian author to keep an eye on for 2018 so I'm like okay so I buy that book and it was really amazing and like I said some of them are, are long some of them are short but they are it's really deep poetry you there's no way that you're gonna read this book in one day because some of them you need to think about that sometimes you need to write about what you just <laughs> what you just read and it's really um like amazing so even the title I'm gonna give you a few like one of my three favorites um so you have the children of the archipelago you have give out, give give back our children you have if and if today i die and there's one that i really like to the frankenstein universe so uh, it's something that i think it's a good book for me i give it a good 10, you know thumbs up because it was my first time like I say within like fiction poetry I didn't know what to expect but fiction poetry in my opinion I think they are like really deep poetry because sometimes they come she compares she make a lot of comparison with with the universe with the human lives and stuff like that and like I say there's no way you're gonna with this this poetry book in one day or even one month because some of them are really deep and that's it so I hope you guys like this little video. I hope you guys think about to buy this book. And it was really cheap. It was $19. Because now I realize I don't want to spend a lot of money buying books anymore. I do have a lot of books in my personal library. But they are in French or in Creole or in Spanish. And each month I have like a $20 for English. <laughs> for a book in English. So... I'm gonna respect that, so I'm gonna be that girl on a budget. I'm gonna spend only twenty dollars for a book every every month. Oh, I try to. It's hard though. So that's it for me. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I know, I know, like next week it's spring break, right? So for all my spring breakers, if you wanna party with the party nation, make sure you use protection because I think party it's more fun when you protect yourself okay so that was my advice and i'm gonna i uh, i have something else to say though after this oh my god you know what i'm gonna start to 
white my ideas before I open the cameras because when I open my cameras most of the time you know I have two cameras when I'm open them I'm like okay I'm gonna talk about this I, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about but I know okay I have one book and I'm gonna you know talk about this book and now I'm still talking and now I have ideas ideas and I have a lot of things to say and I only have like 10 minutes to film why 10 minutes because it's my goal I don't want to have long videos and stuff like that on YouTube I don't want that so that's it and i hope you guys enjoy and thanks for being here if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and and don't even um be scary to give me your opinion or stuff like that what you think what type of order you like and stuff like that i will get back to you so that's it and have a nice day and if you are going on vacation for the spring break, make sure you use your protection, like I said, because you never know. Sometimes they are cute, but inside it's not that cute. <laughs>